hybrid and online teacher training at Craven Community College. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to enable activity completion in your course and describe the uses for activity completion. When activity completion is used, students will see checkboxes next to assignments and activities in your Moodle course. These checkboxes can help students keep track of their progress and provide you with activity completion reports. So let's take a look at how to set up activity completion in my hot template. First, we need to enable activity completion at the course level. So up at the top, I will select course management. Under course settings, edit course settings. I will expand all so I can see all of the options. And I will scroll down to the area that is titled completion tracking. And I need to enable completion tracking by selecting yes. And now I'm going to save and display. And what this has done is enable completion tracking at my course level. So now you will see that there are some check checked boxes next to items that have been completed in this course. Students will not see checks in the boxes until they complete the activity or assignment. So now we're going to take a look at how to set up the activity completion settings for different assignment types. So let's start with syllabus part one. I'm going to edit, edit settings, expand all, and scroll down and take a look at activity completion settings. So in this case it says students can manually mark the activity as completed. If I leave this option selected, it will put a solid line box next to the syllabus part one and students will be able to manually check it off once they've completed the activity. So when we, when we use this setting, students check the box themselves. If we wanted to change this to show activity as complete when conditions are met, we can set conditions. So for this activity, the only condition available is that students must view the activity to complete it. So I could check that box and I could even say when I expect it to be completed on. Don't forget to scroll down and save and return to course. Taking a look back at the course page and the settings for syllabus part one, we now notice a dotted box next to syllabus part one. And that means that students will have to complete the activity based on the parameters you set up in activity completion before the box will be checked. Notice syllabus part two does not have the dotted line box and this type of activity completion can be checked by the student as we discussed before. There are different activity completion settings available for different types of assignments. So let's take a look at how to set up activity completion in a forum. I'm going to my introduce yourself forum and I'm going to drop down and edit settings, expanding all. Let's take a peek at the activity completion settings. So notice this is how I set up my activity completion for a forum. I show activity is complete when conditions are met. I say that students must post one discussion or reply and students must post two replies to other students. So until they meet this criteria, the box will not be checked. And I save and return to course. Let's take a look at activity completion settings for an actual Moodle assignment. So my distance learning certificate is an assignment. I'm going to edit, edit settings, and their assignment is to upload their certificate from their distance learning orientation. So my activity completion settings are here. And so I show activity as complete when conditions are met. And the condition is that students must submit to the activity. So they actually have to submit their certificate. And when they do, the box will be checked. Let's take a look at one more example. This example is a journal. So I'm going to edit, edit settings. And I, will, I can either expand all or I can just jump right to activity completion. The way I have this activity set up is it is completed when conditions are met and I say that students must receive a grade to complete this activity. 
I could say they, they need to view the activity to complete it, but I want them to do more than that. I want them to actually write in their journal and have me grade it before it is considered complete. Finally, let's take a look at the report that is available to the instructor. Coming up to Course Management, I will go over to User Links and Activity Completion. This report shows a list of all the assignments and activities that were set up using Activity Completion. Each assignment or activity would be checked, each box would be checked for each student showing the activities and assignments that they actually completed in the course. In this example, there's only one student in the course and they have not completed any of the activities yet, but normally you would see a list of students going down this column and you could actually uh, view what they've done in your course. So that's it. Thanks for joining me for this hot topic of activity completion. See you next time.